one of two of the most exciting young players in the league. Of course, I'm talking about Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes versus Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson. What a game. And by the end, both men de delivered on the hype. Both men, excuse me. Mahomes continued his MVP caliber play with another 300-plus yard performance and three touchdowns en route to a Chiefs win. Meanwhile, after a slow start, Jackson came through with some fourth-quarter highlights and a near-Ravens comeback win. Look who's here. Marcus Spears what in the up? house. How are you? What what up? Good to see you, Big Ben. What's up? Good to see you, Y'all look good today, man. You thank too. Look you. at you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Good to have you here in NYC. Stephen A., tell me this. Were you encouraged by Lamar's performance even in the loss? No. No, not me. Really? No, no, no. no. He threw the ball 43 times. Did he not? Mm -hmm. Sure did. did. He, didn't he barely complete 50% of his passes? That's a problem. That is not going to fly. That is not going to fly. What we were raving, the reason why we were raving just a week ago, Max, Marcus, we talked about this. I had Mahomes, number one, Lamar Jackson, number two, and Dak, number three, in the MVP vote. I would not have Dak at number two. Yeah. Okay? Why? You go your first game, you went against Miami. You know what I'm saying? That's like a pop warning team for crying out loud, right? Then after that, okay, what was your second game against Arizona, Arizona. all right? So then you finally went against the real team, the wheels, there's no question of the greatness of the wheels on Lamar Jackson. Ain't nobody could do what he could do with those legs of his. We get that. What we're looking for is his ability to fling that football because that's all there is. There's nothing else to question about this kid. Just that. And we know you're going to need that. And the reason why, Max and Marcus, we're going to hold him even more accountable than we'd hold most quarterbacks throwing the football because the last time he went against a real team, Real team, because Cliff Kingsbury and Colin Murray and those boys got to figure it Struggling. out. And Miami, we, yeah. we don't even need to go there. He was flummoxed. But the last time we saw Lamar Jackson against a real team, it was the playoffs against the Los Angeles Chargers. Three quarters and two minutes. That's 47 minutes. This brother had three completions for 25 yards. One of the most horrific performances from a quarterback we had ever seen up to that point. Turned it up the afterburners in the fourth quarter. Tried to mount a comeback. Came up short. We get all of that. But that's the last time we saw him against the real team until this Sunday. And so you go up against Kansas City, and once again, there's an issue with completions. Yeah. That's a problem. No, look. He was impressive. You have to be impressed by Lamar Jackson. What you're talking about is why they will lose to the Patriots in the playoffs. Because Lamar Jackson was a deer in headlights in the playoffs against not Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick will have something for him in these playoffs if they link up. And it's with a great Patriots defense. Okay. He'll be That'll be a problem for him. You know why? Because he'll be 22 years old. You know why he was a deer in headlights? He was 21 years old. His team was in the playoffs. He's 21 years old. They're going to make a run this year. He's 22. Max, all I ask, give me a little credit because my position is consistent because I say the same thing about Cam Newton. No, no doubt. The ball. No doubt. That's You're, a big thing with no, me. No doubt. All right. But check this out. Okay. Who's the most accurate passer in the history of the NFL? Okay. This out. Okay. Who's the most accurate passer in the history of the NFL, age 21? Lamar Jackson. So this is like Mike Trout in baseball. And in fact, if not for Patrick Mahomes, we'd be saying this about Lamar. Patrick Mahomes is like the best player ever at his age, right? This was Mike Trout. He was the best ever at 20, 21, 20. By the time he's 26, 27 now, we just have to start saying, is he the best be player very, ever? You better be very, very careful bringing up Lamar Jackson and Mike Trout in the no. same sentence. I'm you saying, better to he's stop not. that blasphemy. He's not Mike Trout because of the existence of Patrick Mahomes, who is the man. That's the reason the Ravens lost the game, because Patrick Mahomes is even better, also a little bit older. But look at what Lamar Jackson did. 30 to 13. Right yeah. 30 to 13 in the fourth quarter. And the Chiefs defense was smart. Let's contain him in the pocket. Let's make him beat us that way. Even then, he could still beat you with his legs, even when his passing game isn't on point. 30 to 13 turned into 33 28 in the end. They still lost, but only because. Patrick Mahomes was on the other side of the game. You, by, the quarterback's job is by hook or by crook. Keep that team in the game. That's what Lamar Jackson did. Max, you got to push the ball downfield. That's the bottom line. You ain't winning the Super Bowl if you don't push the ball downfield. We all know Mike Vick was an athlete, same as Lamar Jackson with his feet. Never won the big show. Here's the issue. Here's the issue for Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson will always be compared to the guy you just mentioned. And you know the only difference is – he doesn't throw effectively like the guy you just mentioned. I get the age. I get the time for progression. I understand all of that, what can come along. But you know who's going to be there while he's making this progression? Patrick Mahomes, right, and Carson Wentz and Deshaun Watson. He is in the same semblance 
that Phillip Rivers is in. He's in an era where he's KD and there is a LeBron mm-hmm. in existence. So this is what Lamar Jackson has to do. His focal point, the athleticism, Lamar Jackson can get out of bed and do what he did to Kansas City with his legs. Mm-hmm. That's just who he is, right? That's what made him phenomenal. That's what made him a first-round pick because it damn sure wasn't him throwing the ball downfield. But what I will say is if he can just raise that level of being able to push the ball down the field, then the athleticism will take over against all of these other quarterbacks. But the problem is, Max, the problem is we ain't seen Pat Mahomes before. That's going to be Lamar's I'm issue. I'm never arguing we Lamar Jackson's better than Patrick but Mahomes. But my point That's is my we are going to garner an appreciation because I believe Lamar Jackson is going to work to become a better passer downfield. Mm-hmm. The issue against Kansas City was not his athleticism. Right. He missed a lot of touchdown throws. Yeah. Well, well, a lot of let's, deep let's, balls down the let's, field. Let's, let's, Let's get, that let, dude let, don't let, miss let's, him. Let's get, that's right. But, but I'm not going to even go there because I know Mahomes is on another level. I get all that. What I'm saying to you is this, and this is just a stickler of mine. Think about who you're talk- you listening to now. Cam Newton. I keep bringing it up. When I brought up Tim Tebow, what was my argument? Everybody talked about everything else. I said, throw. It's my friend. He can't throw. That's what I kept saying. Why? Because somewhere along the way, people have gotten accustomed to, all right, like you pointed out, man, by hook or by crook, get it done. Nah, dog. You got to you got to fulfill your job description. If you are a defensive lineman and you are paid to pressure the quarterback, you got to have some sacks. You got to have some quick QB pressures. You got to contribute to stopping the run. If you a safety back there, you got to help out some of them corners. That's got to contribute to your secondary. Be formidable. If you are a linebacker, the ilk of it. If Khalil Mack wasn't pressuring the quarterback, what would we be saying? We'd have a problem because that's his job. Well, excuse me. If you are behind center and your title is the quarterback, your job is to know how to throw the damn we just, football. Okay. We just disagree on this. You we do. You're, right. on. You're absolutely Mike right. Mike Tomlin was a D You're coordinator. Right. They must play defense. My thing is, you know, Billick was a, was known for, you know, offense. And he got up and right. 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 But he won a Super Bowl. You, but you're, but you're not going to change the history of the NFL by being an athlete. You're not going to okay. do it. Right. Name me one that couldn't throw. You know who – guess who beat Colin Kaepernick in the Super Bowl? Yeah, right. I get Joe it. Joe Flacco. Because no, pu- he pushed the ball down the field. Of course, a quarterback's going to have to be able to read defense. Got to roll. Got to right. Let's play leave it there. We know he's elusive. That. We know he can extend the play he's to get to the next level. Needs think. to push it down the field. He's 8-2 and two so far as a starter. I want to get to the Jets. They are winless. And Le'Veon Bell is speaking to the haters, oh. saying this. All you haters, enjoy it for now. Just don't go Casper when all this gets turned around. We embrace adversity. We embrace the hate. And everyone that wants to see my team fail or me fail individually, I'll remember. We'll remember it all. And use it and wear it as a badge of honor. Talk that talk, Le'Veon. I love Le'Veon Bell, man. I, look, what do people want from a guy who just he put his money where his mouth was he sat out a whole season to get to free agency. And whether or not you believe that it was on principle or whatever, else, miscalculation, he did that. No one else did. Le'Veon Bell did that. And when last season, he was, you know, a running back every three, four years. He was the best of his era. He was number one in the league whenever he was on the field. And he does it because he's a brilliant running back. Like, think of every skill you want a running back to have. Who's done it like him? Like Marshall Falk and, 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 and who, who, like, who Best comparison. And LaDainian Tomlinson. Yep. I mean, he is a brilliant player. And then he gets the contract. And is he a bad teammate? No, no. no. He says all the right things. He leads by example. He's on a bad team that's going nowhere this year. I love that comment. First of all, I totally disagree with your position. And I say this affectionately because I'm cool with Le'Veon Bell. And I got love for him. So I'm not being malicious or or volatile. I'm playing around with him somewhat. But shut the hell up with that. I don't want to hear that. This is a Jets franchise. Before you were born, they went to the Super Bowl in 1969. They ain't been back. They ain't been back, okay? I mean, that's over 60 years. Okay, they ain't been back. This person. Okay, in the last, no, 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 I'm not, listen, I'm not even a New Yorker now. No, in the last 33 years, the New York Jets missed the playoffs 25 times. And they ain't made the playoffs since 2010. Oh, sh- stop it. Don't talk to me about, oh, you hate this. Well, please. Well, that's how you turn it around. Give us a reason to love. All right. Give us a reason to love. Go ahead. What was your position on the Browns? 
What about it? Like before the season starts. I was saying do something first. Okay, perfect. Because that's where I am with this whole situation. When we think about what Le'Veon is saying, I get it. I understand the sentiment. I see where he's coming from. Actually, this franchise has made strides to get the right players. My guy Jamal over there, they drafted Quentin Williams, Leonard Williams. They are building a franchise, a legit franchise. It's early, though, Le'Veon. It ain't the time to put that out. Thank you. It is. It ain't the time to put it out right now. No, it's not. No. It's quarterback turn. All 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 it is is Sam Darnold can't play spin the bottle after fourth period. Just don't be talking to New York. Just don't don't be talking to New York.